All right, hey everybody, Al Hefe 1974 again with another shave video. Uh, we'll make this one really quick. Um, we will do the head shave, so let's get right to it. I have a 1930 Gillette open comb razor uh, with a treat blade. Hi. And that's little Paulina saying hello with a treat blade. Um, no special reason to use that other than I just have it in a sampler pack. Um, I have here blooming. Uh, in the Parasso Red container, not Parasso Red, but in fact, Soap Commander, love. Thought I'd go throw a little, little rose scent. Uh, Pre-shave today, something a little bit different, just felt like smelling this too. Parasso Red, Shea Butter, and Sandalwood. Um, I do have my Omega Bore Brush uh, soaking, not my travel one, but my actual one that I use uh, for the fall. And then for post-shave today, we'll be using the Nipple Razor, a.k.a. Pinod Clubman. Everyone knows what this is, pretty good stuff. And then for my post shave balm, it gets really interesting, going a little eucalyptus, rose, sandalwood, couple different concoctions, Parasso Green. Uh, we'll go ahead and break up this video into two sections. We're gonna do a head shave first, kill it, get that posted, then we'll do the regular four pass shave for Saturday, so I only have to do a quick and dirty pass for Sunday, and then we'll call it, call it a day. All right, so here we go. Talk this through while we're going, get this filled up. Hope everyone had a great uh, ending to the week. Um, I know I did, I only worked about a half day on uh, Friday, uh, only because I just, from the surgery, I'm still a little, still a little sleepy. Oh, and uh, pre-shave uh, shower, it's not regular shower, sterling soap, pineapple and cilantro. And uh, yes, I do like to use the uh, the bloom bloom water for that. Now, when I'm shaving my head and face, I do like to kind of keep my face wet as I go, so it's not drying out during uh, the process. So you kind of see see that. And then on Saturdays, I actually use the my shave oil in both places. Where during the week, I'm just just trying to get out the door. All right, I do 30, load it like you hate it, all that good stuff, 30. There's the love, love samples, here we go. Now I go different directions. Okay, 30 does it. I only do uh, my head like two and a half passes, so not a lot of hair left. Here we go. And I'm a two-hander. I like to use both hands for brushing on my soap. Do a little paint around her here. This part always freaks me out because now it looks like I have hair again. <laughs> you can see that. Plenty, plenty of suds. And what I do is I go from, I come from the back over. Um, I don't do a down, a down pass. Oop. I do, I close my eyes only because I'm kind of listening for the cuts, but probably for this I, could, I should be able to keep them open. I mean, I'm not like scared to do it. I'm more just listening. Um, open comb, if you don't, if you're not used to an open comb, um, they can be very aggressive if you're not paying attention. So just watch as you put it on. You know, just make sure that you're not like stabbing yourself accidentally, but you know, just do your thing, shave. She should be okay. But 
but you can hear it's cut it's cutting the it's cutting the little hairs and then I come a little bit forward let's look how I straighten out my head a little bit you know I've been doing this for a while you don't have to quite fly through uh, a little bit different than a face shave because for me there's just not that much hair up there anymore so you know just more of a a reality but again you know it just makes for an easier shave and then don't forget for those of you that are new into it just always rotate it you got two sides of this thing so what I do is I think about my head in four sections and then when I get to the new section I uh, I turn it let's take a look here okay not too shabby and do is a, kind of bring a guide pass here to see how the blades doing okay not too bad so now I come all over the top all right turn it again Okay, again, you don't have to be, I don't have to be as perfect because I just don't, ow, I just don't have hair up there. You heard me go, ow, apparently there was a little. Felt like a zit up there. Again, you don't want to overshave areas and then do the old ear pull, come up. Light touch, still, still the way to go. Bring that elbow down. See how I bring that elbow down? Just bring it down and go a little bit long ways. All right, switch the razor. Take a quick look here. Ooh, I smell the rose. So on the shave forums, I believe the hounds are meeting down in Alabama for their big shave meetup. And uh, I know the soap commander and his lovely wife are going to be there. So I thought I'd go ahead and a little tribute to them by doing some soap commander. All right, so first pass is done. Not too bad. Take a look at the time. Eight minutes. This next pass for me goes actually pretty, pretty quick. I do a quick feel. Kind of scrub it in there, trying to make the hair grow back again. It's not going to grow back, but. <laughs> All right, second pass. You can see the soap commander just goes on like just as smooth now my wife's not a big she's not a big fan of the scent but she is a big fan of the performance of the soap she does like um the way that this feels she loves purpose and loves wisdom so those those she loves so i know unfortunately purpose is not going to be in the regular cavalcade of sense moving forward but that's okay it'll be offered as a special as they go and you know I got other options for for bay rums so you know no worries so I did a little rotation there and now I just come to half same thing applies when you, when you cut your face in the sectors when you do this right just you do it in sections do your head in sections and you'll you'll be You'll be looking good. All right. Do a quick rinse here. Come back around. Again, I do close my eyes. I, again, not because I'm scared. I just, I'm listening. You know, once you get good. You know, once you get good, just listen. And, you know, it should be okay. Okay, now this is an Al Jefe thing. 
So what I do now, because I already came over the top, I'm going to come the other direction just to get any other little straggle hairs with the grain of the hair. Again, light touch. Very light touch. Holding my 30 degree angle, coming over. Flip it. Flip it. I did shave my head yesterday. I had a meeting for work and just wanted to have that professional sheen in the old dome. Kind of helps out if someone wants to challenge old half. That way I can just kind of put my head down, let the room light hit the hit the bald spot, blind them, and make my move. All right. <laughs> so you can see there, open comb, you know, it leaves a little bit more of the product. Again, it's it's shaved. You know, you don't have to, you know, with a regular bar, it's going to grab it all, but I, I know it's shaved. And then just finish up. I just come around, kind of where I left off. Pull my ear down. Here, be careful. Don't, you know, pull down and slice. You will cut your your ear skin there or lobe like a weenie. Just be, you got to be careful. All right. Same thing. Come around this way. Come over. You notice too, because I got these big, big hands. If I want to go a lighter touch, take some of the fingers off. I, I got the razor. I got it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to let go. It's not going to slip. You know, as you refine your technique, you'll you'll definitely feel that, right? So, okay. Now, what I'll do here is I'll check. I'll check and see and make sure that my the back got done. And see, is it smooth? Is it smooth? Okay, I got a couple little touch-ups back there I need to do. So I'll say, okay, you know what? In this case, what I'll do is on Saturdays. Use more product. We all have too much product. I'll take it. I'll pull her off because I'm gonna re. I'll re suds again for my face. One of the few times I won't use a brush to reapply this, just because a I'm getting rid of it, and b um, I just kind of want to put some extra cushion back there because I'm doing an additional uh, touch-up pass. All right, pick it up where we left off. Apparently, ran out of disc space. No biggie. All right, so pick it up. You should be able to see this. I just come across. Light touch, one of the few times I come all the way across when I'm shaving something. That's it. You know, if you got one or two little hairs left over someplace, forget about it. Adjust it for next time. Or shave your head every day. And what I do is I come back this way. Hold a good angle. Come over. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to take this, just a quick feel over. Okay, everything here feels pretty good. Pretty shaved. Now I've got this extra shaving cream. Unlike the face, you know, go ahead and take, take off the excess. From a head perspective, it's a different skin than your, your face. So, at least for that. Then I'll check. Okay, everything looks good. We'll let the pores do its thing. And I do my uh, other shave piece or my um, skin prep when I'm done with my full shave. All right, so if you like, go ahead and join me on the uh, next video. Uh, from there, I'll go ahead and do my uh, four pass shave. Ooh, four pass Saturday oh, special. Oh. And I'll see you then. Thanks.